Welcome to all of you. Once again, to all those who are here, thank you very much for joining Expo Lengua. We are really thrilled to have you on board with us today. As you know, we've got exciting things prepared just for you. And we've got a few things, a pr some prizes that I think we you will surely love. Right now, we have over 55 participants who are all very excited, I hope, to learn Asian languages. As you know, Asian languages are not much different with other languages, but there are some unique things that makes it truly interesting. Let's learn more about that later. So while we're waiting for others to join the session, I'd like to see all the uh, chats here. We have got people from Korea, Algeria, Berlin, Germany, Greece, thank you very much for joining. So I think it's really amazing that most of us are from different parts of the world, yet we are here today and celebrating our love for languages. So with that being said, let's now start with our session. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for being here. Our topic for today is learning common expressions in six Asian languages. All right. So out of all the places in the world, we all know that Asia is the largest continent, right? And this is also the reason why it is the home to different dialects and languages. For this reason, many are truly interested in learning Asian languages, both for personal and professional um, things and opportunities. At first, learning might be a challenging. It can be intimidating at first, especially for total beginners. But we can guarantee that with consistent practice and the use of right tools, it is possible for you to achieve fluency, understand complicated language features, and connect with native speakers on a whole new level. With that being said, we have invited real native speakers to help us with the common expressions. All right, we've got people from, we've got Erin, Miyoung, Fa, Vu, and Dara. Hi, Erin, can you say hello to the crowd? Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining. I'm Erin. I'm a native Chinese speaker. So today I'm going to share you some like, very common Chinese verses with you. Hope you guys enjoy it. Thank you very much. And how about Miyoung? Hello, Miyoung. Hello, everyone. <coughs> Sorry. Hello, everyone. Um, this is Miyoung from Korea. I'm so happy to be here tonight. Thank you very much. How about Fa? Hello, Fa. Hi, um, I'm Fa. I'm a, um, I'm a Thai native speaker and I'm um, just glad to be here. And let's, yeah, let's have fun um, with Thai language together. All right. Yes, we shall have fun. Hello, Liu. Hi, everyone. This is Liu from Vietnam, but I'm now living in Chiang Mai, Thailand. It's so amazing here. Um, so Vietnamese is my uh, native language. I can speak English, um, some Japanese, and I'm learning Thai. I love languages. So nice to meet you. All right. Thank you very much. And we also have here Dara. Hi, Dara. Hello, everyone. Uh, this is Dara. I'm from Cambodia. I'm my native speaker, or you can call Cambodian language. And yeah, I can speak Khmer, which is my native language, and English and Thai. And yeah, really excited to be here to share with you the common Khmer expression today and hope you enjoy it. Thank you very much. And hello, everyone. My name is Janine, and I am a Filipino, and I speak Tagalog and English. For now, let's move on to our three-point agenda. This is the flow of our discussion for today. We will focus on the common expressions in six Asian languages. We also have quizzes and some prizes waiting for you. And of course, towards the end, we will have a question and answer just in case you have a burning question. We've got native speakers right here who can really help you out. So with that being said, let us now move on to our first expression. 
our first expression is hello. Of course, this is a classic line, right? A conversation starter. How does that work in Chinese? Okay, so hello in Chinese, you, we simply call it like say it in ni hao. So if you translate literally, it's you good. So people just say hello, you good, ni hao. Perfect. How about in Vietnamese? So in Vietnamese, it sounds similar to uh, Italian, I guess. Uh, so it's, so you say xin chào, xin chào. Perfect. How about in the Thai language? Hi. Um, so in Thai, we say sawadi kha or sawadi krab. So um, I guess everyone just know um, sawadi already, but for ka and krab is quite different. So ka is for female speakers and um, krab is for male speakers. Perfect. So we've got gender words there that you need to remember. How about for mm -hmm. Khmer? So in Khmer, hello, we can say Tuesday, Tuesday to friend or a uh, younger or uh, for elder, you, you can say like Chumripsu with this hand gesture. So this hand gesture is really important. Chumripsu. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much. And how about for Korean language? In Korean, say hello, Annyeong haseyo. But just friends, between friends, you can just say annyeong. Uh -huh, the shorter version. All right, annyeong. Thank you very much. For Tagalog, we actually ask a question. We say, kumusta ka? Because we do not have a direct translation for hello. So instead, we just ask, how is the person? How are you? For the next expression we have here, thank you. Of course, we do not ever want to sound rude, right? So in Chinese, that is translated to? Okay, so in Chinese, if we want to say thank you, we say xie xie. It's a similar, like same two sounds, xie xie. Yes. Perfect. Now, how about for Vietnamese? In Vietnamese, uh, because we are a tonal language, so you, you can say it two ways. Cảm ơn with the low tone. Cảm ơn, similar to come on. Um, and you can also say with a higher, a higher uh, tone, like cảm ơn, cảm ơn. Perfect. So it will, we need a bit of practice. <laughs> How about for the Thai language? Okay, so in Thai, you have to say it like, perfectly in the right tone. So mm -hmm. just say ขอบคุณค่ะ or ขอบคุณครับ and definitely you can also do this gesture. So it's not only for สวัสดีค่ะ but when you say ขอบคุณ you can do ขอบคุณค่ะ like this too. Perfect. Okay, take note of that gesture. We also have Khmer. So in Khmer, thank you, we can say so I'm all good with this gesture. So this gesture is like to show the respect. Yeah. So it's somewhat similar with Thai. All right, perfect. How about for Korean language? In Korean, we have many ways to say thank you, but the number one is "고맙습니다." But if you want to say the more polite way, "감사합니다" is very polite way. And one thing, if you do these kind of things in Korea, we do like this. So if ah. you do this, we feel like, are you praying something? <laughs> I see, I see. <laughs> so a bow is much better. All right, perfect, perfect. Thank you very much. For Tagalog, we actually just say salamat or maraming salamat, which means thank you very much. For our next expression, Yes and no, it's impossible not to find a situation where you won't. So what does yes and no mean in Chinese? Okay, if you want to say yes in Chinese, we call it shi or no, we say it bu shi. We simply add the no in front of shi to mean the negative things. So yes, shi or no, bu shi. Perfect. Thank you very much. For Vietnamese? Uh, so for Vietnamese, the two words for yes and no is ko for yes, and no is không. So you can uh, like 
shake your head like no come all right perfect and how about for the thai language okay so in thai you can simply say ka or krab for yes um as i said ka is for um female speakers and krab is for male speakers and when you want to say no you can add my in front of these words so like my ka or my krab perfect okay thank you now how about for khmer So in Khmer, yes, we can say ba. No, we can say te. Ba te. Thank you very much. And for Korean, in Korean, we say ye means yes, and yo means no. Okay. For thank you very much for Tagalog, yes means oo, no means hindi. For our next expression, we ask the question, "How are you?" To ask the question in Chinese, you must say. Yeah, in Chinese, it's quite similar to say hello, but we simply add the uh, question character in the end to mean okay, this is a question. So we say "ni hao ma." So the last character means a question. So you good. And question mark? Yeah, me how ma? Yeah, perfect. Thank you. How about for Vietnamese? So in Vietnamese, the sentence actually means um, "Are you good or are you fine?" So the word for good or fine is "khỏe," "khỏe." So you say "ba có khỏe không?" "Ba có khỏe không?" Are you okay? Are you good? Thank you very much. And for the third one, we have the Thai language. How does that work? So in Thai, it's quite similar to Chinese and Vietnamese. So we say "sabai di mai ka" or "sabai di mai krap." "Sabai di" means doing fine, doing good, and "mai" is just um, the question word. And definitely, definitely, you can just always add "ka" and "krap" in almost every sentences. So, sabai di meka or sabai ni meka. Thank you very much. Now, how about for Khmer, the fourth one? So, in Khmer, how are you? We can say tao ne sok sabai te. So, tao it mean what to make the question sentence? Tao ne and sok sabai it mean how are uh, sok sabai it just how are you something like that. But but in the question sentence, yeah. So we can mm-hmm. say. Socks a bite day. Okay, thank you very much. How about for Korean? Is it the same? No, it's in Korean. How are you? Is Chai Chine Sayo. Chai Chine Sayo. You have to go the end of the sentence a little bit up, then make uh-huh. question. Answer is the same sentence, but you have to go flat. Chai Chine Sayo. All right, thank you very much. For, for Tagalog, We ask, "Kumusta ka?" or "Kumusta ka?" And for our next expression, we have here how to say, "I'm doing well" or "I'm fine." All right. How does that work in Chinese? Yes, in Chinese, "I'm doing well." We say, "Wo heng hao," means I'm pretty good, or you can say, "Hai bu cuo," not bad. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. How about for Vietnamese? So in Vietnamese, the word for I is tôi, um, and the word for well is khỏe, tôi khỏe. Perfect. And for the Thai language? So in Thai, you can simply um, repeat the question since it's asked like, um, are you doing well with sabai di? You can say, Chan sabai di or pom sabai di. So chan is for female speaker and um, pom is the pronoun for the male speakers. Perfect. And for Khmer? So in Khmer, we can say Khnyom sok sabai te mean I'm doing well, I'm fine. Sok sabai te. Perfect. Thank you. How about for Korean? In Korean, it's the same like a Thai, just repeated a question. Thai chinesayo. Or you can say 
Kenchanayo. Thank you very much. For Tagalog, we can simply say, Mabuti naman ako. Mabuti naman ako. How about for this expression? How do we say, how are you? How do we ask another person, how are you? How does that work in Chinese? Okay, so this one is quite similar to uh, asking, uh, say hello. So we just simply add the question and the end at question mark like uh, ni hao ma. Simply mm -hmm. add ma in the end to ask how are you, ni hao ma. Thank you. Adding ma. All right. How about for Vietnamese language? Uh, so in Vietnamese, we say, bạn có khỏe không? Bạn có khỏe không? Perfect. Thank you. How about for Thai language? So in Thai, we say, sabay di mai kha or sabay di mai krap. Yeah. So um, sabay di is doing well and we just ask if they're doing well. Thank you. Thank you. How about for Khmer? So in Khmer, how are you? We can say, Ta nè sok sabay te. Ta nè sok sabay te. It means, how are you? Thank you. And in Korean? In Korean, chai chine style. All right. For Tagalog, we simply ask, kumusta ka? That is similar with the first one, the hello, kumusta ka? And for our next expression, I love you. Mm -hmm, I love you. How does that work in Chinese? Yeah, it's quite similar for um, as English. So we just say, wo ai ni. If you translate literally from I love you, it's just me, wo ai ni. Wo ai ni. Okay, how about for Vietnamese? Does that sound the same? Yeah, Vietnamese people are very direct too. So we just say, Tôi yêu bạn. Tôi yêu bạn. All right, thank you. And for the Thai language? So, same as Chinese and Vietnamese, we say, Chan ra kun or Pom ra kun. And can oh. also add ta and krap. Yeah. I see, I see. Thank you very much. And for Khmer? So in Khmer, I love you, we can say Khnyom Srolang Ne. Wait, Khnyom for I. Srolang mean love. Ne mean you. Khnyom Srolang Ne. I love you. All right. Thank you very much. And for Korean language. When you say I love you in Korea, uh, I recommend to read it with whispering. Sarang heo. Saranghei, all right. In Tagalog, we say, Mahal kita. Mahal kita. For our next expression, goodbye. Saying goodbye. How does that work in Chinese? Yeah. Um, goodbye in Chinese, we say, Zai jian, which means, see you again. That means people want to see you soon. So that's a very friendly expression in Chinese. Zai jian. Thank you very much. And for Vietnamese? Uh, in Vietnamese, we say tạm biệt, tạm biệt. But you can also say, uh, also say bye bye. This is for young All people. Right. <laughs> All right, bye bye. And for Thai language? So in Thai, we say la gòn or la gòn kha, la gòn krap. But this one seems to be like you're not sure when you're going to meet again. Um, and pretty official so or you can just say bye bye and like bye 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 all right thank yeah. you and for Khmer so in Khmer goodbye we can say leha with this hand gesture so this is just with friend or younger or with the elder we can so with this hand gesture as well yeah all right so take note of the hand gesture it's, it is to look polite, right? To look polite. How about for Korean language? It depends on uh, your situation. When you are living, you can say, Annyeonghi keseyo. Uh, when you stay there and the someone is living, you can say, Annyeonghi kaseyo. I see, I see. For, for Tagalog, we actually just say, Paalam. 
paalam or simply add po if you want to say paalam po to sound a bit polite. How about when you're going to say, I'm so sorry, I'm sorry. How does that work in Chinese? Yeah, in Chinese, it's a little bit different from English. So we don't use a subject in this expression. We simply say, Thank you very much. How about for Vietnamese? So in Vietnamese, the word for sorry is xin lỗi. You can use the pronouns or not. So you can say tôi xin lỗi or just xin lỗi. Okay. And for the Thai language? So in Thai, you can say khó thốt or just to make it more polite, you can say khó thốt kha or khó thốt kha. Perfect. And for Khmer? So in Khmer, I'm sorry, we can say khnyom som to. Oh, it'd be really, really sorry. Yeah, with this hand gestures again. Okay. With a, a slight bow. <laughs> yeah, to okay. show the respect. Thank you very much. And for Korean language? In Korean, we say, Chesonghamnida. Chesonghamnida. Thank you. In Tagalog, we just say, Patawad. Patawad. Now that we have finished all the expressions, let's now move on to the quiz. Don't worry, this is easy. For the next two slides, we will be giving you a question. What you need to do is just use the chat box on the screen and type in the answers, all right? Let's move on to our first question. Don't worry, this is easy. Which Asian languages? in the six Asian languages that we discussed, use English alphabet or the Latin alphabet. Okay, you can use the chat box. All right, I'm seeing the correct answers there. Very good. Tag uh -huh. Vietnamese and Tagalog, very good. All right, thank you very much. It seems to me that you guys are really paying attention. That's really cool, that's really cool. Thank you very much. How about four? The next question, hmm. wait, how do we say hello in as many languages as possible? But, but don't worry, before, we, before you type your answers, I know it's hard to remember, let's have a quick review, all right? How, does the, how do Chinese people say hello? Ni hao, ni hao. Very good, and in Vietnamese? Xin chào, xin chào. Thank you. And in Thai? สวัสดีค่ะ. Perfect. And in Khmer? สวัสดี. สวัสดี. All right. In Korean? Annyeonghaseyo. Annyeonghaseyo. Perfect. In Tagalog, we say, Kumusta ka? Kumusta ka? All right. Type in your answers at the chat box. Don't worry about the spelling. It's okay. It's understandable. Oh, wow. I, <laughs> there are people who actually mm -hmm. typed in the language. That's so cool. All right. Thank you. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much for participating. It really seems to me that you learned something at the at a very short span of time. That's really cool. So as to say congratulations and as our gift to you, we are giving you your prizes all right so in here as you can see you actually have unlocked a free 14-day unlimited access to all our language lessons at the ling app the ling app is a language learning tool perfect for all language learners it has courses for Asian languages. So as you can see there, you can simply scan the QR code and claim your offer now. Or you can also check the chat box there. We have added the link so you can easily click that and snag your spot. Thank you very much again for participating. We also have a Learn Thai Weekly with a teacher. We have created a special session for all of you. You can simply scan the QR code there or also check the chat box. We have the link there. It will start today at 1.30 at the Central European 
time. So by now, perhaps you're wondering what exactly is the Ling app, right? So allow me to introduce to you briefly what Ling app is. Ling app is basically a language learning tool built by Simia Solutions. The goal of the app is pretty simple. It wants to help you learn a language quickly and in a fun and motivating way. So that means you will not feel overwhelmed or stressed while learning the language. So it follows a gamified approach. It has fun mini games, uh, challenging quizzes, chatbots, and everything. The Ling app has it all for you. So as you can see here, it has been featured in the App Store since September 2021, and that really tells us a lot about the quality of the platform, all right? From there, you can learn holistically. You have speaking, listening, writing, and reading skills that will be honed just by using the app for at least seven minutes a day. And what's even perfect is that it is so flexible since it is available on Android, on iOS, and on the web. If you'd like to check it out, just go to lingapp.com. All right, so that's it. Thank you very much for your time. We are now ready to answer your questions if you've got questions. But of course, before that, let me just remind you that we also have a session later on. The workshop title is Learn Basic Thai with a Native Speaker that is happening at 14 at CET, all right? Be sure to check that out at Expo Lingua. Now, looking at your chat box here, we have Q and A here, all right? We've got people here who can answer the questions. Salamat. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much. We've got here, all right, we've got people saying hello. Thank you very much for joining us. All right, if you've got questions, feel free to just type it here. Can we maybe see? Oh, no, sure, no problem. All right, here is the... QR code if you want, but we also added there the links just in case. All right, scan it now, it's okay. The 14 day free trial is really cool as you've, you'll be given the chance, who knows, you might win the lifetime pro version. All right. Perfect. So if you've got any questions or any additional clarifications regarding what we discussed here or about the Ling app, feel free to just uh, visit the website and we'll be there to answer all your questions. So yeah, once again, you can visit uh, lingapp.com. We added that on the chat box. You can see that on the chat box at the website, lingapp dot com again thank you very much and we hope you had a great time with us today so if you've got questions just all right thank you thank you very much <laughs> perfect i can see that you're already practicing what you have learned <laughs> all right all right thank you in Thai, all right, we've got a question here for the Thai native speaker. Can we have assistance here? Uh, yes, Jenny? sure. Um, sorry, sorry. Uh, I think we are running out of time. So maybe um, everyone yeah. who has the questions can contact us on our website, lingapp.com, and we would love to answer your questions there. Thank you all so right. much. Yeah. Thank you very much, and we hope you'll have a great day ahead. Thank you.